Hi, this is uh, Brian with Technology Tinker again, and uh, this is our first review of an actual electronics board, not a tool. Uh, this is the Adafruit PowerBoost 1000C. Uh, again, I'll have that link down in the description below. Uh, what this basically is, is a LiPo or LiPoly charger. So it's a battery charger, um, but it's not just that. It's a lot more expensive than uh, some of the cheaper battery chargers that are out there. This is typically going to run you anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks uh, for one, whereas you can get like really cheap LiPo or LiPoly chargers, you can get five of them for six bucks. Uh, from some off-brand. This doesn't do anything that I haven't seen in those uh, boards before. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that right off the bat. It's it's not uh, doing something you know amazing all on its own. What it does do is a lot of different things that it's hard to find together. To get everything that this board does, you'd normally have to get several. Um, first thing is... is uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, it's a basic micro USB port, um, but you can power in from, you know, any of several, uh, well, not several, but uh, from a couple of different locations on there. Um, you can take power in directly uh, from your project. Uh, I typically use it so that this is a power out, uh, well, the external uh, connection where I can just plug in the project with micro USB and oh hey look we've got power because it also does load sharing so it'll charge your battery while your project is running uh, that's one of the harder things to find odd, oddly enough um, but uh, it works uh, it works great now the other thing that it does is it's uh, it's a 5 volt power supply basically uh, and it will up convert uh, so it's got a coil right here uh, it will let me get something that's a little bit easier to point with. Uh, but it will basically uh, up convert like uh, your typical uh, LiPoly. Um, that's going to be connected uh, right over here. Um, your, your typical LiPoly is uh, 3.7 volts. Uh, it's going to put out uh, 5. Um, so, uh, you, have, you do have to account for that in your project. Um, honestly, that's one thing I wish I could change about it. I wish I could select whether I wanted 3.3 or 5 volts out of it. Um, but it's nice that it, it has that, because uh, it's not terribly hard to uh, regulate it back down to 3.3 volts. Um, especially since I usually use microcontrollers and Arduino Pro, Pro Micros and... Uh, the Node MCU ESP8266 is, uh, which I tend to use a lot of, uh, they all have onboard voltage regulators. So that's not a big deal. It's just it's a little bit wasteful. Um, the other thing that it does is uh, you can actually solder on, if you so choose, a full-size USB port there. Uh, and that has the resistors necessary for uh, charging Apple uh, products. So that will let you use this board to charge an iPad or an iPhone, what have you. Um, no, it will not charge a MacBook. Because um, there will be some smart ass that decides to ask that question. But, um, yeah, uh, iPad, uh, iPhone, uh, it will charge those. Now, uh, it does do trickle charging. Uh, so it uh, extends the life of your battery. Battery just plugs in here over on the side. Uh, and it does uh, detect when your battery's low and cut it off. Um, so, as you can see, that battery has charge. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that because it's a little bit bright. But uh, you can tell that the battery has charge, so it will let you know. Um, there's another little LED over here. The battery's low. It turns on red. Uh, know that you need to charge it. Um, the other really nice thing about this is... Let's turn this around here. Okay, so basically you've got a your charging ports here. This is your USB, your battery, voltage. Then you've got EN right here. That's an enable pin. And here's ground. 
<clears throat> now if you take these three pins you hook them up to a just a uh, single pole double throw switch I think that's it or is it double pole single throw I always get that mixed up I don't know why but I always do I mean if you just take a tiny switch and hook it up between those ports or pins um, and it's just a standard three pin switch like that um, wire that up run it to the outside of your box and that well that uh, will let you sh if it's got power going to enable then the entire board is enabled and so is your project if you flip that switch and you have ground going to uh, that enable pin basically pulling that pin low if you do that then your entire project it cuts off the lipo it cuts off external power everything it shuts down power to your project so it gives you an easy on and off switch as well as load sharing as well as up converting as well as uh, iPhone charging um, and it's a safe charger for a battery so all in all it's a really good board um, it's a little bit expensive so for super cheap projects you might not want to use it um, you might want to use uh, one of the other less expensive ones uh, that you get so cheap but uh, if you're doing anything that's actually uh, going to use a lot of uh, power or uh, that has more expensive components that's uh, mission critical something uh, where it's an important project this is probably going to be your go-to uh, device as far as uh, a power supply for it uh, or at least it is for me um, so um, as normal if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them in the comment section below uh, I'll always have uh, whatever we're uh, discussing uh, whatever part we're discussing and reviewing uh, linked in the description below um, and if you have uh, if you like the video hit that like button if you don't hit the dislike button uh, that's what they're there for so uh, again this is Brian with the technology tinker and thank you